Hey guys, it's Justin, welcome to the channel, and today we're gonna to be talking about the most underrated sleeper gene in ball pythons. This is what you need next. So this is the Lace Project, and it's something that we've had here for probably almost 10 years, We've been slowly working it into some of our best things, and we have been some awesome, awesome animals to show you. So the Lace is an incomplete dominant mutation, and it's relatively subtle in its regular form, but the White Lace is the Super Lace, right? The Super version, we call it the White Lace, is absolutely amazing and very, very different. The white lace has some extra brightness, some interesting pattern, but mostly has these crazy, crazy sides on the bellies that are just completely unmistakable and you would never miss a white lace. So there's two things I love about the lace as an enhancer gene. Number one, it has some really cool brightness and pattern elements to it. Usually ball pythons have either color or patterns, a little bit of both. The second thing I love is that it actually gets much better with age while retaining its contrast. And I know for a lot of you who watch my channel, you know that sounds very familiar. It is very, very similar to the Desert Ghost in that way. I have some amazing animals to show you to kind of explain why I think the Lace Project is a force to be reckoned with in the future. We're gonna compare it to Desert Ghost and talk about combining them. Let's check them out. So guys, this is an adult lace, and this is actually a male lace, triple head, hypo, desert ghost, and clown. And it just really shows how much the lace improves with age because this animal is way brighter than a normal. It's way brighter than it was as a baby as well. It still has those elements there of the high white sides and like the edging that's kind of like a yellow belly. It's a little bit confusing sometimes when you combine the lace and the yellow belly because they can look similar, but there's a really cool effect when you get lace and yellow belly into the same animal. But some interesting sides, nice white outlining of the alien heads here, and just a beautiful animal even by itself as an adult. So here we have a white lace, and this is the super form of the lace, and you can see already that it is as bright as the lace adult was already as a baby. It's very, very, very bright. But the best element of these is the sides. The side effect is completely doubled. I'm tricky from being bit. Look at that belly. It goes to a pure white belly with heavy, heavy checkering. And again, this does not have a yellow belly. For those who know the yellow belly gene, you know, has a very similar effect but just check out the amount of just interference there on the side and the popcorning is what I call those little white nodules that come up. It is really, really amazing. And this is a good example and a good chance to show you guys exactly how this animal changes with age because we have a gravid female here that is just about to lay any day and we can compare this animal directly to that animal. So look at the transformation between this baby and this adult female. To me, this animal looks so much like an adult desert ghost. Just how the animal kind of, it kind of bleaches out here on the back. Very, very bright, but the blacks stay exactly the same. The blacks don't lighten up. So an animal that gains contrast with age. But see all the crazy sides and edging this one has? This one does too. We're gonna be careful with her because she is gravid. Oh. But look at the edging and the sides and the white belly on her. She's absolutely beautiful. And again, such a transformation of color. We have this really bright brown turning into these bright tans and great contrast. The black is left nice and solid. This is gonna make a lot of you happy because I know how much you love seeing the adult. And I'm so happy to show the lace project, the white laces, especially as adults because they're just so nice. This is a pastel yellow belly white lace and it is just absolutely neon. With age, the colors has become so saturated, but it left the black. So it's, you have a great black and yellow contrast. Of course, the crazy sides, the yellow belly raises the edging on the sides so far up in a pure white belly. As you guys probably know, there's a lot of projects that I prefer not to have pastel and I feel like it's going the wrong direction compared to where we want to be. And they tend to brown out with age. But of course, the Pastel Desert Ghost is one of the best pastel combos. The Pastel White Lace is right there with it. It's every bit as good and definitely something that I think really gives pastel its due because you got a bright neon yellow and black snake.
So now we're going to show you some of the awesome lace clowns we've made this year and some of the crazy combinations. We're going to start with the most simple version though. This is the standard lace clown. And as you can see, it's extra bright. It's very similar to an orange dream as far as the level of brightness, but it actually has some really cool pattern elements too coming here on the edge. All these laces have really interesting belly edging and some white flames coming up here on the side. It's kind of an easy way to identify them when you're hatching them. It's definitely different than any regular clowns that will be in the same clutch. But the really amazing part of this is, is when you start adding in some of the other clown combos that are already bright and have high contrast, and just this takes it to a whole new level that we've not seen from anything outside of the Desert Ghost Clown Project. We're gonna start off with a bag. This is one of my favorite combos of the year. This is the Inchi Yellow Belly Lace Clown and she is a firecracker, she's going after me. Pull her out of the whole back rack just now. But look at how clean and amazing she is. What I love about some of these lace clown combos we've seen is that a lot of times they have like a hatching in them, which is like every, the tip of every scale has a little black dot. It just creates a look that we've not really seen and it's almost better than if it was completely perfectly clean in every way. But just the amount of brightness and the pop of this animal, the fact that it kind of varies between extremely good contrast extremely bright, almost overly saturated, but then have all these little black dots in there and different interesting um, textures. It's really a texture is what, I like, what I'm trying to say about this animal. It is amazing and one of my favorite combos of the season. Of course, we see a lot of these lace yellow belly combos, they end up with a pure white belly, which would not come through if it was not lace. And so just another little kind of factor to look for. And of course, yellow belly and lace together create some really amazing sides. So this next one is adding spot nose in there. So this is the fire spot nose lace clown. And again, it has all the same features, extreme brightness, and it's gotten so much better with age. One, just a little tip I wanna add for you guys is if you ever make, start making some of these combos, do not sell them right after the first shed. Wait until, at least until the second, sometimes third or fourth, because they get so much better. If you ever have any ID questions on what's lace, what's not, again, wait till that second or third shed because the transformation is just absolutely phenomenal. It still has the same texturing here. See all those little spots in there? And again, that contrast of the texture, plus the brightness, plus all the heavy blacks, of course, we still have the white going on in the belly here and the big edging. This looks like yellow belly, but there's no yellow belly in the pairing. That's the combination of spot nose, which has a lot of edging, plus lace. And uh, what, a, what an amazing combo. So I just wanna show you a side-by-side, -side, just comparison here of this one with the Desert Ghost version. You can see the exact difference between them. So here's the Desert Ghost version. You can see that is way, way brighter, way creamier, especially at this early age and does not have any of that texturing. This is a phenomenal animal. They both are phenomenal in their own way. I will not, I will not lie, this is a better animal, hands down. The Desert Ghost being the recessive, the double recessive is just phenomenal. It's the fire spot in the Desert Ghost, of course. With the single gene lace though, we're getting a lot of the way there. It's, it's, it's a lot of the same features at a lower level. As we get further into this video and we start sharing the white lace stuff, I think you'll see where we're headed with this. So the next animal we have to show you is a leopard combo. This is the fire yellow belly lace leopard clown. So we have a lot going on here, but I, again, I just wanna show how clean and beautiful it is and bright. There's absolutely no darkness or, or really a transition here in color on the back, just a pure, pure orange. And this, this combo definitely exceeded my expectations for a, uh, for a lace combo. Look at that belly. Of course, you got lace and yellow belly together. So you have extra check around the sides and a pure white center stripe down the center of the belly. So again, these are just more indications of lace that you need to be looking for in your clutches as you make these going forward. I think this is gonna be some of the best combos we see in the next few years. We'll be having the lace gene in the mix. So this is another one of my favorites from the year. And when we first hatched, I wasn't even sure it had lace but it is such a deep, dark combo and it's getting brighter with every shed. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. The color really comes in strong over time. This is the Cypress Red Stripe Spot Nose Yellow Belly Lace Het Clown. So it's got all the jeans, basically. And when it first hatched, it was much, much darker this, but look at the neon striping that's coming in and just the brightness of this animal, just with a few sheds. It's amazing to see. And uh, this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite snakes to breed in the future. It's a girl, so we've grown her up for a while. So 
so this year we just recently hatched a clutch that gave us our first white lace clown of the season. And this really shows what happens when you double up the lace there in the clown and how great the effect is. So let's look at this one really closely. Okay, so the white lace clown is even brighter. It's even cleaner. And the cool thing, it still has that nice texturing going on throughout the animal. But again, the, when they get the white lace involved, you have these crazy, crazy sides. So we have so much white and popcorning coming almost halfway up the sides, it creates a completely different look. Very, very different than you'd see in a lace clown or especially not in a regular clown whatsoever. But the interesting thing is, is when you compare this, this is the super form, I guess, of the lace with clown. Let's compare this side by side with the gene we keep comparing it to, the gene we all love and know as the very best gene to a normal Desert Ghost Clown. So here we have the comparison between the Desert Ghost Clown, this is one of the best ones I've ever made actually. It's one of the siblings to the DG Xanthic Clown, so I think this is probably gonna be head Xanthic, it's so bright and pretty, compared to a white lace clown. And you see once again, there's no comparison here between the brightness and the beauty of the actual Desert Ghost Clown, and how just clean and perfect it is. The White Lace Clown, you see a lot of the same elements of contrast and brightness, but also has that, that, those weird, crazy, crazy sides, and then the hatching or the texturing, which is a cool little feature as well. But the amazing thing to me is these two, although they're somewhat similar, there's no comparison between the quality and brightness of this one and this one. But if we said over and over in these videos, these things improve so much with age. The Desert Ghost Clowns, we know they're amazing, we know they stay nice, but the white lace, all those animals turn so nice with age. So let's go look at an adult white lace clown and see where that puts us. All right guys, this is the animal that I've been so excited to show you. We actually have teased it on a couple other videos, but this is the adult white lace clown. This is an adult female. She's about 1400 grams now, almost breeder size. And just look at how insanely beautiful and bright she is. In fact, she looks a lot like that baby desert ghost clown now that she's an adult. The difference is you still have it, some interesting textures going on and then you still have those crazy sides. You see all this edging all the way up and down the snake. It's kind of cool to have a pattern element um, when you're making these combos to know there's something you can do different with the pattern and it's not just a color feature. You can actually make them look a little different. I'm just amazed by how beautiful this animal is. And so let's do the, exactly the same comparison as we did just a little bit ago. So we're gonna show this one, the white lace clown, next to an adult female desert ghost clown. So here's the side by side, guys. We have an adult female desert ghost clown, and this girl is actually has some follicles in her now. We're being a little gentle with her compared to the adult female white lace clown. They're about the same age overall. This girl's a little bit bigger, but you can see it's a very, very, very similar look. And I actually like the color and the cleanness of this one a little bit better. Um, I like the fact that it has a pattern element to it. As a baby, there's no comparison. The Desert Ghost takes the cake from the beginning, but the White Lace makes an amazing catch up. It actually improves so much with age that the adult versions of these are gonna be some of the epic animals we make in the future. So that's a comparison of my two favorite projects right now. And of course, if you think like I think, for the last few years that I've watched these animals grow up and watched them improve, I thought how amazing would it be to combine the white lace with the desert ghost and kind of create the ultimate snake, the ultimate bright, beautiful adult clown. And we've hit a snake that we're super excited to share with you. We get to bring you the very first white laced desert ghost clown. All right guys, here it is, the white lace desert ghost clown. As you see here, it's phenomenally bright, but still has really good contrast, still has a lot of darkness, a lot of dark markings and everything. We have the white lace pattern coming in the side here really strongly, nice high white sides, and just extremely checkered, extremely busy. And we have, almost have a two-toned look here. The top half of the snake is your typical kind of desert ghost clown coloration, but the entire lower half of the snake on both sides is so light, it's almost pure white. We have almost that exanthic desert ghost white all the way down the sides. And so in this first hatch, I was just completely blown away by it. I thought, wow, this will be one of my favorite animals to watch grow, 
to see where this project goes in the future. So I'm super excited to see how this animal progresses over the next few years. But for the record, now as a baby, let's check it out next to the white lace clown and the desert ghost clown and see where we're headed. So there's the comparison guys. We have desert ghost clown, a tiny first shed white lace clown, and of course the desert ghost white lace clown. And I just love what this project represents for us. Our never ending quest to make better looking adults, to make brighter and more beautiful ball pythons. If you told me that any of this, any of these animals were possible, you know, six, seven years ago, I would have just laughed. I thought there's no way. But I really feel like these are just all a stepping stone towards some of the most amazing future ball python combos we've ever seen. The future really is bright. The future is full of contrast. And these are the stepping stones right here. So that's the lace project. That's how far we've taken it so far. We're so excited about the future and what to do with it. If it's a project that you're interested in, I definitely recommend adding it to your ball python collection, adding it to your combos of the future. I think you'd be very, very happy you did. We're gonna see a lot of amazing combos coming up in the next few years that are combining lace just with all the genes we have, but lace and desert ghost specifically, I think it's a really great direction for the future. A big shout out to our channel sponsor, Ship Your Reptiles. We actually filmed a collaboration with them and it will be showing next week. It's all about how to ship your snakes. Be sure to tune in for that. Thanks to all the patrons and we'll see you next week.